so much, uh, Caitlin. Uh, let's talk about this. With the recent admission by Bruce Jenner that he's transitioning into a woman, a lot of people are wondering what secrets could their spouses be hiding? Yeah, joining us now to discuss the top things that husbands and wives keep from one another is Stacey Nelkin, founder of DailyAffair.com. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so we have this top five <laughs> list of things that husbands and wives sort of keep, yeah, keep secret from each other. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, yeah. most of these I actually am not surprised by, but one I am. So here's the list here. Finances, health emotions, infidelity, and sex. So, I mean, what yeah. strikes you about this list? What strikes me about the list is that it could go on and on. I only yeah. pick the top five. I think there are a lot of things that people keep from their spouses just because of, as I said on there, their own insecurities. That's a big one. Um, but finances, as we were talking, is the, one of the biggest. And you'd be surprised at how much people do keep from their spouses yeah. about their financial situation. Because finances represent power, uh, control. It's always an issue that's a hot button issue for Ab so many couples. Absolutely. But health, what about health? Health, um, you know, I don't want to sound sexist here, but a lot of guys especially can have health issues oh, and they yeah. keep that from their spouse. Yep. They tend to keep it from themselves. They won't even go to the doctor once they see some symptoms and then they don't go and, wow. and check that out. And, you know, we know that can get very serious, right? Okay, true story here. This actually happened maybe a month or two ago. Uh, just a random thing happened to me. Not a big deal, but I'm like, uh, should I tell my wife? Should I tell my wife? Because I'm like, if I tell her, she's going to flip she's out. She's going to worry. She's going right. to say, oh, my gosh, get to the, you know, let's get you to the doctor. Da, da. I end up telling her just because I, I just am like, you know what? FYI, honey, have this thing. Don't freak out. I'll see a doctor. You know, but I'm worried about her flipping right. out. <laughs> right. And I think that's what happens, is that the partners worry that the, their spouse is going to worry too much, which will cause them more stress. But I do think, especially with the health situation, you know, there's safety in numbers. You want you want that partnership to, to work there for you, to to help you get through things. You All right, know? It's, it's kind so of may, maybe share with your wife yeah. next time yeah. <laughs> beforehand. Emotions. What does that mean? Well, insecurities. We all have insecurities. Women have a lot of insecurities about our weight. Do we smell? All kinds of things that that can translate into the bedroom. Men about. You know, we know men get insecure about their size or their height, um, their their income. Yeah. Um, these are things you know you wanna you wanna throw around to your partner and and have them dispel that insecurity, and and make you feel good about yourself because yeah. ultimately you gotta be with somebody who yeah. like who's gonna uh, make you, you feel up. good. Well, uh, my first marriage, I was with somebody who actually created insecurities, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was oh, not, not good. good. That's why you he know, was your first, and now you're on to better exactly things, baby. Don't right, you worry. Go, <laughs> Let's talk about sex, because you, you, Let's well, talk you about know sex. people are lying about <laughs> oh, yeah. sex, about how great it was or how great it wasn't, or, you know, I, you know, I want more, I don't want more. I mean, right. so, so let's talk about it, right? Look at this. 43% of women, 20% of men lie about that. Why? Um, I think back to the insecurities. They, they want to feel like they are the, the powerful macho man in bed or they are the hottest, sexiest woman. Um, what I'm talking about a lot, too, is sexual fantasies mm. that people don't share with their partner. Um, which can help create a really fun time in the bedroom. Yeah. But we, th it's all about shame underneath it, you know? That if goes we, back to emotions, right? Goes back and sharing to the your emotions, emotions and right. insecurities. We're afraid that w if we leave ourselves very vulnerable, that maybe this person is going to laugh at us or, or make fun of us or not, you know, not be there for us. We're all human. We all want, we want to share these things with our partner. It makes us more real. Yeah, and of that 43% um, of women and 28% of men lying, 50 of them say they're un. Uh, 50% of them say they're unsatisfied. So obviously there are things that aren't being said in terms of having uh, a great sex life, which we know yeah. really helps in the marriage completely. A lot. Isn't that yeah. a tough conversation to have? I mean, Kate, okay, say, say someone watching right now is like, you know, they just don't feel like they're getting everything that they'd like. How do they have that conversation? Yeah, that's they a say, good Honey, question. They I want to have a conversation with you. I love you. And I think you have to come from, I don't know about you, but I think you have to come from, from a place of love. And Absolutely. every time you approach something with a place of love and understanding, yes. I think that person ultimately will open up to you. Totally, totally agree. Yeah. And that's what we see with Bruce Jenner. You know, he shared yeah. himself. He bared his soul uh, with, with each of his wives. And, you know, they, it sounds like they all really still love each other. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't right. Um, what he was going through wasn't right for the, that marriage. The women couldn't handle it. 
but they love him and they care about him as a person and that's ultimately what we want yeah. is to feel human and loved and respected and cared for. And ultimately for. you just said it, we're so, all human, right? We're yeah. all fallible and everything, nothing is perfect. Right. So if you're thinking a marriage is perfect, good luck to you. I'll meet you on, uh, I'll meet you in marriage counseling. Right. Um, because quite frankly, that's what a lot of people need. And I think that's a lot, of that's something that a lot of people are afraid of, that they should have counseling before they get married. And then even if they are married, Very to have a little so. tune up here and there. Absolutely. And you know, we want to find the balance between sharing and oversharing. We yep. don't want to share too much. We don't need to share what, you know. I uh, am with you on that. <laughs> I'm with things, you on that. Right? But. Stacy, thank you so much. Of course. Always very nice. Spousal secrets, the top five that can break your, well, break your happy marriage, maybe. Yeah. Don't lie. That's bottom line. Uh, go to our website at pix11.com. All right. Coming up.